Hi guys, so today we're going to be going over intervals, what they are and how to name them. In this first video we're going to learn how to work out interval distance in under four minutes. So many of you will have come across intervals before in your instrumental lessons, in school or while practicing theory. And they can look really scary at first and it's okay if you're super confused by them. Really intervals are quite simple if we break them down into small bite-sized chunks. So what is an interval? Well simply an interval is the relationship between any two notes. Really what we're doing when we talk about intervals is describing distance, how far away two notes are from each other. The first part of the word inter literally means between, so just think of an interval between the acts of a play. Now there are two parts to every interval. Firstly there's the distance and secondly there's the quality. We're going to talk about distance first as that's probably the easiest part of the interval to work out. Remember here that we're always, always, always using the seven letters of the musical alphabet. C, D, E, F, G, A and B. Let's take a look at a C major scale. Imagine now that all of the notes relate to the bottom note C, like this. So we're going to count up. Taking C as the bottom note and, and this is really important, counting C as one. Let's have a look here. We have a C and a D. We count one, two. That's two, so we call the interval between C and D a second. Let's try this one, C to E. Let's count up, C, D, E, we call it a third. C to F is a fourth, C to G is a fifth, and so on with the sixth and the seventh. Now when we go from C to the C above it, this is not an eighth as you might expect, but actually an octave. We have gone a whole eight steps from C to the next highest C. Similarly, when C and C are next door to each other, this is not a first, but a unison. Imagine two voices singing the note together. Okay, so if I said to you, C to F, we'd count up, that's a fourth. Let's try it with C to B, count up, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, that would be a seventh. Now if you're not sure on your major scales, then you can use the stave to help you. Count up the lines and the spaces from the bottom note until you reach the top one. For example, let's have a look at this one here. We have an F and a B. The F space is 1, the G line is 2, the A space is 3, and the B line is 4. So F to B is a fourth. Okay, so there we have it. That's how to spot the distance of intervals in under four minutes. If you're taking APRSM theory exams, or perhaps if you're studying GCSE music or thinking about it, then part two of this video on how to work out the quality of an interval should be really helpful for you. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching. Diolch am wylio a hoilfawr.